Before Project Zero Dawn could be completed, humanity would unite against its common enemy, the Pharaoh Swarm. Though Operation Enduring Victory would only serve to slow the progress of the plague, as was its primary directive, the death toll would be absolute. Only those hidden within the Sanctuary of Elysium or Gaia Prime itself would be spared. We often discuss the insurmountable loss that occurred leading up to Zero Day, but perhaps even more harrowing is the account of this one man who fought on the front lines against the robotic horde. We can see but a glimpse of the horror of what these heroic men and women faced within the data point, Phantom Limbs. Dictation on. My legs hurt. I keep reaching down to rub them, but of course, they're not there. I tell you, it's one thing to hear about ghost limbs, another to be haunted by them. The moment my hand passes into the empty space, I'm back in Bridgewater, and that nano haze is stripping my legs layer by layer as the squad's medbot drags me out of the line of fire, and I start screaming like I was there, in two places at once. Two halves, but one of them is gone, forever. Dissolved. And through the wall of the infirmary, I can hear them cheering, cheering the MRB for saving our asses, covering our evac back there, crediting them with NYC still standing after a week. Do they even hear when I start screaming? Sergeant says I'll have prosthetics fitted tomorrow, good as new. Both know he's lying. I'll never be good again. Most of Enduring Victory personnel were not career military, but rather volunteers from the civilian population, hurriedly trained and thrust into a conflict they never wholly understood. This is only one experience amongst the countless who would be gunned down, or worse, consumed alive in the nano haze. Entire continents teeming with life reduced to nothing more than biofuel leaving nothing behind but a toxic and barren hellscape in their wake. Though we often think about the final days of civilization on a global scale, it's testimonials like this that show us what it must have been like, the mindset of those doomed to face their inescapable end. And that brings this chronicle to a close. If you'd like to see more content like this, likes and shares are always appreciated, and if you really like what we're doing at the channel, come join our community and hit that subscribe button. Also, consider supporting the channel on Patreon to help us meet our goals and create new content just like this. Check out the link in the description. If you have an interesting bit of lore you'd like to see explored and made into a video, let us know in the comments down below. And until next time, thanks for watching and keep questing.